Now I'd like to show you how to stencil a design onto a quilt. For me to uh, applique these little toes would just be horrific and this is so much easier and then when I stitch around it, when I quilt around it, it looks like they're pieced in there. Um, and I think you'll really enjoy this is from my pattern Puppy Pockets. For this technique, I've copied the pattern onto cardstock and then I cut it out. And this will be my stencil. Then I'm going to need some stencil brushes and they come in different sizes. It doesn't really matter the size. This is just a squatty little brush with uh, stiff bristles. And these are important to use this. You can't use a regular brush. I like to use a quality acrylic water-based paint. There, it has more pigments in it and it's just a better, you don't have to do as many layers, it works much better. And then I need a paper towel and a paper plate. And I'm just going to put a little uh, bit of paint on the paper plate and show you how I do this. Now I've positioned my stencil on the block that I'm going to use and I have my paint. And the idea of stenciling or dry brushing is to get that paint down in the brush but to have it be as dry as you possibly possibly can. So I'm going to use a paper towel as well. When I feel it's not drippy at all then I start bouncing in that opening. And the trick for coverage is many many dry layers because if you get it wet at all it goes underneath it slips underneath that um, stencil oops it moved and will look drippy it won't have sharp edges and the whole goal is to have sharp little edges. So each time I go for more paint, I'm going to work the paper towel until it's almost dry. Sometimes with the stencil you leave edges that are lighter. You can do that. It looks kind of cool. Or a little country rustic look. Or you can go until it's completely filled in. I'm just bouncing up and down vertical. Let's see how that looks. Look how clean and neat that looks. Isn't that fun? Very easy to do. And I hope this tutorial helps you.